Hello friends, I am Ardhan Duday and you are watching Edis English Literature. Today, I am going to discuss a very critical part of writing literature review or review of literature that you often have to write uh, in your research article, in your thesis writing, PhD thesis writing. Many of my students comes up with uh, a few of the queries that how to make literature review or review of literature plagiarism free as well as how to orient that particular thought in a writing that part now discussing on that topic i say that literature review or review of literature is the very basic pattern by which the researcher organize its thought from the literary sources its trial published or published early now why that research topic is boosting one or yielding a kind of a result in having the future possibilities that's the point by which the literature review is important so when you are choosing a literary article uh, that is binding one that is that has the probability of or the possibility of research orientations you just make that topic relevant to you when you study a lot of literature from other sources and carry a related resources by which that topic is somewhat motivated or that literatures are making that research topic oriented now when you review different kind of literatures and collect those texts into your article you find out that probable these are the ways or thoughts by which the research topic should be written now those literary reviews has the possibilities or incompleteness that incompleteness is the basic criterion or the basic way for which you are writing this research topic so these literary topics or literature reviews are giving you an idea but not the perfection of your research result that so literature review is the sum total of the text that you have gathered from different resources related to your topic and that literature is giving you an idea by which you can organize step by step through observations through other field studies into a conclusion into a research programs so when you are writing a literature review you must choose or comprehensively get different sort of ideas different sort of books from different resources typically typically you have to collect at least 10 to 20 but there is no such limit but at least you can collect 20 resources uh, uh, related to your research topic and uh, after getting the ideas or getting those related uh, topics into into your uh, literature text and imbibe those texts into a comprehensive idea and making those insights and making those citations correctly while writing those literature reviews but when you are organizing them there is a probability that uh, passing the plagiarism test may fail if you don't take with caution first of all you have to take uh, the relevant text in paraphrase first of all then organize those paraphrase into a collective way of thinking and represent it but without citation and paraphrasing is not ethically correct so you have to mention you have to take different resources paraphrase them and organize them as per your thought and represent them into an article and those citations should be correct one perfect one first of all and another point that those resources or the text that you have taken which are the founding pillars for the further research that you have chosen 
must be organized as per importance for your thought for your organization for your for your uh, complete understanding of the texts of related literature you have to take a collective ways of importance first of all you should cite those papers which are authentically organized or authentic authentication of those or or those 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 publications are are collectively collectively taken as important so cite those papers first then as per importance you must organize them but again another point you have to take a chronological ideas related to those citations the studies on a related topic how far or how ancient it has been related and how relevant it is in the modern time you have to chronologically order those literature as per their importance as per their happenings so chronology is to be maintained or the chronology should be in ordered format here so this is all about how to write literary reviews in your research paper in your article as well as in thesis paper so obviously i think this particular topic will interest you bye bye for now if you have any query just ask me i will try my best to give some replies thank you bye bye